Pace car on pit road. Here comes the field to the starting line. Logano elected the inside, and the Penzo 400's underway. Already, Kyle Larson pouncing on that outside. That rookie trying to make a move on Ty Gibbs. He's got Ross Chastain behind him up high, Kyle Larson. So he knows if he pulls out a line, he's got someone that's going to go with him. And he does. <laughs> a big-time push right to the back bumper of his teammate, William Byron. Love this place. Look at the three-wide action all the way back. 24 is almost cleared, but he's three behind him. Legato leads here. lap one. I tell you what, that opened the door up for his teammate, Ryan Blaney, right there. Do not count him out. Oh, he wanted up right there. Tried to. Spotter said no chance outside. Here comes William Byron. But three and four races differently than one and two. And here comes Byron steaming around the outside. Front six single file. Saw a huge block back there. And Kyle Busch off of turn four. Blocking his old teammate, Denny Hamlin. And Hamlin in turn blocked his teammate, Christopher Bell. So... Here is the race at sixth. They keep running higher and higher on this racetrack. Eventually, somebody's going to run out of room, and that somebody was Kyle Busch. Yes, sir. You heard him talking about being tight. It bit him. Bit him off the corner. He had two cars side by side. Got into the wall. Here it is. You can see he's headed the wrong direction. Too tight in the wake of those two cars. Eventually snapped loose. Got in the wall pretty hard. A lot of damage there big hit but that's what's so cool about these new cars is that you can get into the wall a little bit and still keep going and and that makes it interesting but hey it does leave behind some of those times where you hit the wall and you actually made your car better yeah. <laughs> there's byron and there is the extent of his lead nine tenths of a or rather nine tenths of a second on kyle larson And another six and a half back to Ross Chastain. Tyler Reddick, we've talked about no practice. He's been fast, and he is late in picking up his fastest nice lap of the race. Green and white checkered flag for William Byron, who picks up his first stage win of 2023. A lot of racing left before the end of stage two. All you got to do, remember, get on that Fox Bet Super 6 app. Come get my money. A lot of fun over there. Easy to do, free to play. More contact, uh, Chris Bush or Daniel Suarez right here. Oh, Suarez way tight, pushes Busher into the wall. You can see the flames come out of Suarez on the bottom. He lifts too late. That bub is coming, Mike. And Logano might have got a piece of the wall right there. Thought he got Tough up day for him, man. Starting yep. on the front, he's not been going forward. He's been only going backwards, so. Sure looks like it. Right rear. Here's a look at it. Lost the nose. It looked like he just lost the nose and just had nowhere to go. Yeah, I don't know if the track was dirty. He was really high. Happy for Brad. But, you know, again, that was a big step. It Brad's is. Brad's always made bold moves in, in anything when he does and uh, has the confidence to chase after it. He struggled last year, and he's, he's turning the page. I'm a believer. They did, but, you know, you've got to take into account it's not just going to a new team. It's owning the team, too. Like, there's a huge vested interest in turning it around and keeping your head in it and keep working. And Brad's a super talented guy, really nice guy. And I think that, obviously, we can see what happens when you have a passion and a big vested interest in making it work. Last lap, stage two. It's like William Byron is going to sweep the stages for the first time in his career. Twice previously here in Las Vegas, a driver has swept the stages and ended up going to victory lane. Definitely a little easier when there aren't any cautions. You know, you're out front, you don't have a whole lot of yellows to shake things up. William Byron takes that second stage again. I don't know who I'm picking to come out ahead on this one. They're all pretty darn good. Gonna get tight! Whoa! Oh, caution, caution. Logano slides to the grass down the front straight away as caution waves. Sure did. He's going to be frustrated with that. He had the run. He has the position. But the hardest thing is to be that three-wide situation that Keselowski was in. Just running out of real estate. Logano, come yeah. down. I'm going to say he um, didn't stay on that wall. I don't no. want to put blame on him. That's three cars going for the same spot. I saw Brad come up. 
All right, well, while you're stacking your chips, we're going to take a minute and do a Sunday NASCAR on Fox. Crank it up. Catching Gregson here, set him up, use this lapper as a pick. You know Denny's going to get wide here, start working that mirror. It's another, it's one thing to catch a car, and it's another thing to pass oh, a car. Hey, car in the wall off the floor. Oh my gosh. Caution is out, it's Eric Almarola. Watch Ooh, there this, Larry. <laughs> and Larry, this changes everything. <laughs> it's going to be an overtime finish, Clint. Oh, Almarola. You see Almarola just getting loose. And two tires is what won this race a year ago for an overtime finish with about the same amount of laps that we have on our tires right now. All right, let's choose. The leader has chosen the inside all day, and Truex will continue that tradition. Byron up to the outside of the front row. Larson right behind Truex. Remember, this track is a good five cars wide, and there is no out of bounds. I'm telling you, this is anybody's game. Bowman lagging back just a little bit. He's on the button now, and here we go. Stacked up on the outside. Bowman's told you he went to that outside middle. Here comes William Byron. Still hanging quarter now, door. Even unit 24, three off the two wide here. Four wide about? off the corner. Behind the leaders. Truex side drafting him back. It's going to have to get that. Yeah, he's just had to lift too much. That tire deficit. William Byron to the lead. Look at this run. They're all going to get on Truex now. Lifting right in the middle of three and four. Worst corner you could do it in. White flag gets official. I'm telling you, Bowman's in a really good situation here. Four wide for seventh. Excuse me, Byron. And a big run for Bowman on the outside. They're going to split Truex, and it's three Hendrick Chevys to the front. Just like much of the day, around goes Almendinger, back of the pack, four or five cars spinning. We stay green as everybody gets out of the throttle. Here they come to the flag. Ooh. William Byron will lead his 175th lap of the day and take the checkered flag in Las Vegas.